the orange one here. So we are even deeper now. And um, <laughs> we I found some crazy stuff on a, like a random body just like a minute ago. And also happened to get a blast cannon. Don't ask how. Okay, basically there was there was there was some turret that I was a blast can turret and I got I got lucky. And that I was trying to like not have anything too exciting happen while you guys were not here, and then like that happened, so whoops. And then yeah, like these things, I'm I i do not really even want them, to be honest. And these mines not too bothered by them either. Yeah, we're pretty deep actually now, pretty low down. I think that it might be time for us to uh, check out some other stuff. Yeah, that chain gun's annoying. Oh, but check this out. Oh, I didn't. I didn't hit him. Never mind. Check check that. Yeah, I know that I could have been a lot more efficient there. Oh, it's a one of these guys. Oh no. Inflate this member. Yeah. I think that dude like put me to sleep there. Though they, they didn't have enough damage uh potential to really hurt me too bad. You know, I think part of my issue is that we haven't been getting um, cybernetics because we're just in random subterranean stuff which can give you some really good stuff randomly but it's super random as you can see like these enemies are very very random but this on the other hand this could give me some useful info get that out of the way you know that could give me a little bit of world history essentially um what um did I pick up I'm confused. I don't remember picking anything up. Whatever. Oh, there's a solar cell that I've got that's out of power. Oh yeah, also, um, yeah. I have tons and tons of stuff, actually, that I don't need. Drop that. I tend to have, like, an extra face. Um... What was that, that that just froze the baboons? Crypt ferret. Interesting. Not familiar with that one. Or oh, these um That's a null null beard. Uh, null beard's not that bad. Honestly. An urchin belcher. What are you? I mean, you're hostile. So I'll try and and kill you if I can. What's with these baboons? They're confused, so I think that they, they're not normally hostile to me. They're just, like, super confused. I don't know what's going on. Oh gosh, uh, they just spawned a bunch of stuff that I don't want to be in. That confused me. I'm gonna get out of the confusion pile. This clay pitcher, I don't think, has anything in it. Maybe if I go up here, I don't know. Yeah, things are getting a little bit bonkers. Let's just say that. <laughs> Maybe wait a few turns, let that confusion gas kind of clear out a little bit. What is that? It's right there. A null beard. There we go. Dismember them, please. Oh, actually, you know what I have? I forgot to show you this. There was this other thing that I picked up. It's, oh, I can't believe I forgot to tell you about this. I was laughing about this, actually, just uh, a little bit ago. This trophy. If, you, if you're not familiar with this, this item is incredibly, incredibly useful. Um, it's one-handed. It's essentially a book, but when activated, look at what it does. I get a little friend. 
And that friend, he, uh, he's not actually my friend. He's, uh, he's just a Pudus Templar hologram dude. And so, like, I found him down here just randomly in the procedurally generated world of Cud, right? And he's actually gonna kill all those, those monkeys, because <laughs> he doesn't like them. <laughs> I'm gonna let him, let him do his thing. Because the Blood Quartz Baboons, I think they can drop some nice items. Um, maybe I should be attacking them, I don't know. Let's take the cell out, deactivate, remove. Yeah, the thing is, is that I can, I can dual wield these two, or I can go for this super nice one that I, I just found with the, um, the Pudus Templar corpse that had that on it. And it's just like, okay, so there's basically this guy who's a hero among his people. There was like a book written about him. His intelligence like was literally put in said book, right? And now uh, he was left for probably thousands of years. Um, oh, oh, I know what I have. I've, I've got stuff to cook. Fish meats. Okay. Apparently. Yeah, but apparently that dude's been just like, you know, here for a super long time in this book. And some dude just happens to come across him and I'm like, maybe I'll use you every once in a while. He's like a fully sentient, intelligent being that has like his own free will, you know, like kind of crazy if you think about it. Um... I don't know. Oh, we've got Jared Root Tuber? I should make a salve injector then. I, I can't believe that I'm carrying that around. Oh yeah, also I got pyrokinesis. Um, not pyrokinesis, the thing that lets you learn about items through like cooking bananas. <laughs> so I can, I can make basically everything now. I just need the right crafting ingredients. Which means I just need a hunt for the right crafting ingredients. I might want to get some blaze injector ingredients is what I was thinking. Probably one of our more top priorities. Does this even give me any experience killing those things? I don't think it does. And some of the enemies that we're going to be fighting are not even going to be giving us any any experience at all. Oh, hello. A great salt back? Does that mean what I think it is? Does that mean there's dromads around here somewhere? These things, man. I'm gonna see if I can jump that guy. Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, these these turrets are kind of annoying because they drop a ton of stuff and I actually just don't want to get carried way down by them. The dromads aren't here, are they? No. If there's a great salt back, I suspect that there's a dromad caravan somewhere around here. No. Okay, I uh, I think I got knocked out for a little bit. I, I killed the guy that made me go to sleep. Pretty sure that's what just happened. Uh oh, what what is going on there? Juice sap. What's a juice sap? Okay. I, I got knocked out again, it looks like. I'm gonna get out of there, and I'm gonna look for... Where's your friends? It's very rare for Assault Back to just be out by themselves. They usually are for Dromads. Maybe, though. Maybe he was just out and about. Okay. Yeah, I was thinking maybe it's time I, I go to do some actual ruins. And we're way overpowered for that at this point, but it might be what we kind of need to do. Oh, look, there's actually a way down here. What am I, what am I doing? Um, hold on, actually. Let's cook from a recipe. Sure. I don't think that I've got the ability to make anything special. Okay. 
Oh, there's one of the Frago dudes. That that typically gives you a good amount of XP, right? Uh, Ilya, oh yeah. I think this is a mimic, right? Oh, yeah, it's a mimic. Is it gonna come my way? It's not. I'm gonna just inflate axons and kill you. Yeah. And then I can even learn a little bit there. Cool. I mean, if you learn enough about the Sultans, it does help you. Oh, there's someone who's taking damage from my spores or something. Oh, now they're throwing things at me. Uh, charge him. Sorry, baboon. I mean, they should give me... Some experience, right? Yeah, I and mean, they actually give a and it, there's quartz for a cloak. That's actually a really good item, I think, right? Yeah, it reflects damage back at the attackers. Kind of want to take that. It's it's a super cool item, and I honestly want it just for like the collector's feeling, you know? Like it's a cool item. I want it, you know. Um, okay, we're good to move. Yeah, these quartz guys are they're just kind of annoying. And they, they reflect damage back at you. So you want to make them bleed, basically. And then they'll, they'll basically end up just killing themselves. Let's stay in stairs upstairs. Okay, yeah. I don't need that then. Oh, this could give me... Nope. Nothing. That could have been what I needed though. Uh, space time. I'm traveling through space time. Great. That's... That's not weird at all. What's going on? I'm like traveling through space time. I mean, I think that it's. I'm not sure if I'm getting stunned because of the space time effect or like what's going on there. But I think that we got maybe wait. There we go. The other me's have disappeared. Maybe I was like running into myself, maybe or something. Uh, what is that? A waveform worm. Can I kill that there? Fall back just a little bit. Yeah, these X slugs we're gonna have to deal with wherever they're coming from. They're really annoying enemies, but they're not too bad. What do we have over here? A snail egg, yeah, so they're gonna get spawned if I'm not on top of those. Now the question is, is where is mom? Linus Prism, yeah, you're gonna come for me, I had a feeling. Now the wave worm. Oh, I took damage from them passing through me. That seems kind of... Not fair. Uh, um, can I kill this thing? There we go. It's dead. Whatever the waveform enemy is, it's gone. You don't have to worry about that anymore. <laughs> that was actually kind of intense, though. Uh, what's that? Uh, Fullerite Flake Armor Armlet. What's the armlet? Is that a shield? Uh, helmet. Eh, I mean, it, it sounds good. I think that I, I definitely want that. I would like the helmet. That's It's so heavy. I'm not sure what I would get rid of. To be honest. I mean, I kind of like all the items that we have. 
Yeah, I think we're gonna keep everything that we have. Um, besides maybe some chem cells. Because honestly, I don't even use chem cells. Nope, hold on. I need my halberd back. <laughs> I'm not gonna fight with that. <laughs> okay. Let's see. I mean, that helmet would actually improve my armor value quite a bit, so I really should probably get it. Something's chirping. Okay, um... I think there's other turrets or something. Okay, there's some sort of effect or something. Sparking vent. There's like an area of effect, huh? That's interesting. Yeah, you gotta be careful. These, these caves do have some random area of effects like that. Now the question is... is can that... be destroyed? Or do I need to destroy it, is the other question. Oop. Oh, hold on, what's this thing right here? Right, this is a... A full creek cap catapult. So I want to probably not be over there. Oh my gosh, did it blow a hole in the ground there? Can I...? No, I can't take you over. I had to try. Yeah, we're gonna be able to take you out. We've cleaved through your armor pretty badly. Nice. How much experience did I get from that? 750. That wasn't that, that that much. I mean, that's pretty good. Pretty good. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna complain. You know. Um. Man, got a lot of skill points there. I really should use them. I'll have to think about how I want to use them. So, I think I'm gonna save them. Yeah, that those holes got blown in the ground by this thing, right? That wasn't just me. I didn't, I'm not making that up. I don't think. Uh, what are you? You look interesting. A dynamic turret tinkerer, eh? That sounds like something I want to kill right away. There we go. He's dead. That should make this whole floor a lot easier. I think the tinkers are huge pains. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> they can just ruin you, the whole floor. Make it really not fun to play through. Um, though this looks pretty good. Got some up arrows, some something down here. Over the mushrooms. No, nothing. Okay. Oh, I also could animate some wall. I just want to make sure it's the right type of wall. This is like only limestone, right? Like I want um, the full create. Like, I've got the, uh, whatchamacallit, what's this item thing? I've also found this with a really cool thing, uh, all the crazy, that, like, little book thing. There's, um, a nano neuro animator, so I could use that to animate some wall. Yeah, like the spray of rain. Um, this looks like there's something on the other side of it. Can I get in there? Actually, limestone seems to be pretty t tough. Maybe I should befriend some limestone. No, what what is this stuff right here? It's tarnished chrome. So if I look at tarnished chrome, I don't think that I can do much to that, to be honest. Can I animate it? Can I make it my friend? I'm gonna try it. Let's do it. Let's animate the wall. The chrome. This is how you get chrome pyramids, right? Um, yep. It's unresponsive. 
Hold on. Replace the cell. Yep, okay. They're alive, apparently. Let's trade. Um, okay. I don't know... How do I... I can... I can trade with you, apparently? I don't know. You don't seem to be very mobile. Come with me, wall. Yeah, I don't... I'm not really understanding the whole... The, the wall's alive, but it's not walking with me. I heard that you could give this thing, like, items and stuff and have it walk around. I mean... I can do something like that and, like, move it around. But that's not very interesting. Oh, it's 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 moving. It, it ran around somewhere. I don't know, if I go to another space, will it follow me? I feel like it will, but I don't know if it will. If I go down here... Wall, you're not going to come with me, are you? Uh, it's a shame. Uh, there's some mushrooms over there. Yeah, I need to go to, I think, a ruin. I think at this point I've kind of like delved deep into the procedural generation. Oh, this is one of those guys that's uh, kind of a pain. Kill these. Um, try and dismember them. You know, I'm actually going to take some steps away from you. Uh, and jump super far away. <laughs> yeah, take that, dude. Not messing around with that. You kidding me? Not with Chip Chop. Chip Chop here knows what he's doing. He's a pretty good idea of, of what he's doing. Or at least he thinks he does. Okay, um... Anything else in here? There's a fire there that makes me think there might be like a camp or something. Oh, what are you? Oh, you're a glittering brain or oh, these things are kind of annoying. Um, you know what? They have really high armor values, but you know what I can do about that? I can go and get this guy. And He'll kill kill you for me. Right? No? Maybe not. I guess they they don't have any any issues with them. Okay, that's a that's a shame. My friend is not my friend, I, I suppose. Get you out, then. Wait, did he just like explode? No, that's, that was the thing from the enemy that was already here. Go ahead and get a flurry on them first, cleave. Try and dismember. No. I mean, I'm cleaving, I'm just not doing damage. Oop. Yeah, they're gonna do some damage though. I don't know why they're... They're covered in spores, so that's why they're moving away, it looks like. They're taking some damage from the spores. Cool. I'll keep on charging then. Maybe not. Maybe I shouldn't keep on charging. <laughs> Mixed results, right? Um, Go ahead, charge, I suppose. Okay, we're not we're not really doing all that well here. I'll try and hit you with that. No, it's not working. 
What I could do is I could corner you and then jump. Like I could do like, yeah. We'll juke you, jump away, and then we're gonna blast you. There we go. <laughs> and that kind of hurt them, right? One. Okay, yeah, I think. Three more turns. Yeah, this thing. Oh, hold on, he's, he's right there. Oh, I knocked off. Am I knocking off parts of him? I think that may. I think that I, I was knocking off parts of them, destroying them. Oh, cool. I guess that's a way to cheese some uh, some money. Kind of. It's not that cheesy. I get the tinker for me, please, guys. Or no, I guess I gotta do it. Nope, never mind. Oh. Um, looks like they're getting the turrets for me, honestly. <laughs> My little baboon friends. Is it, these are blast cannons. That's, see, this is what I got my other blast cannon from. Is these guys. So that's a blast cannon tinkerer. Oh man, that could have that ended bad. Luckily, they, they hurt themselves pretty bad. Uh, there's a small trinket there. It's probably some sort of cell. An antimatter cell. Oh my gosh, we just got our first antimatter cell. That's like super endgame content right there. Yeah, we've definitely got more money and worth and value than I, I think we're going to ever need. You know? Okay, um... It looks like we can still move around a little bit. There's some furniture in here, which makes me intrigued. Might find something. No. Um, nothing super amazing finds, you know, honestly. I'm kind of curious what I'm underneath, you know? There's tarnished chrome. Which I can animate and then I can like switch places with it. <laughs> Hold on, can I? I, I want to try animating and then teleprojecting. Maybe that that'll work. So where's my items? I'm gonna have like a little family of walls following me around. It's in the tools, right? Yeah, it's in the tools. Um, yeah, do it. And then can I... There's nothing to dominate there. Okay. Well, there's a red jelly. Magmatic. That sounds bad. Can I be like, hey, wall, can you deal with that for me? I think the wall might be fighting them, I'm not really sure. No, I don't think he did. Uh, I think we're gonna have to see if we can kill this thing. Ooh, I don't like this. This is a little sketch. Can I cool off? Thank you. If we're gonna fight that red gelatin thing, um, is it dead? No, it's not dead. I should have known. Okay, um. Uh, juke over here. Um, we're gonna need to get out of here. 
That red jelly is is a nasty one. Not someone that I want to fight, actually. I'm kind of surprised the wall I can't really control easier. Wait, what? They just disarmed me? Hold on. What just happened? That doesn't seem very fair. I'm gonna need to get out of, out of here. He just jumped me out of nowhere. This could be the, the end for Chip Chop if we're not careful. I need to get out of here. Sad Amos. He just literally... Um, did he disarm me or did he just like... Or dismember me or disarm? I, dis I think it was disarm. I don't think it was dismember. Get that on. Get that on, please. I don't know what else he may have taken. But I think it was just the fluorite. The big fluorite thing. But he, uh, he scared me there. Okay, I decapitated him. Luckily, that doesn't reflect decapitation on us. <laughs> um, I'm gonna try and get out of here because these dudes are gonna be a pain. Uh, can't really do much else. Or then kill him. Okay. Alright, I think I'm gonna end this here. Thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.